I am honestly so tired of all these TikTokers coming up with a song when they can't sing. Oh my god. I'm literally crying right now. Can you even see my eyes? I'm tearing up. I'm not even kidding right now. This is a decent song. React to Bella Porch's new song. What the? You should react to Bella Porch's oh new God. song. Hey, why don't you listen to Bella Porch's new song? You should fuck definitely react to Bella, Bella Porch's new song, dumbass. Just react to a new oh fucking song. What the fuck are you gonna react to Bella Porch's new song? React to that shit now, Jesus. motherfucker. Okay, okay, fine. You know all these comments that you guys just saw? They're all fake. I made them up because no one was asking me to react to Bella Porch's new song. So I was desperate, so I was like, hey, let me just come up with some fake comments. So Bella's first song came out a couple of days ago. And on this channel, we like to review music from TikTokers like Dixie D'Amelio, Addison Rae, because we all love TikTok music, right? They're the best. Just because of the fact that they use like no auto-tune, right? I am honestly so tired of all these TikTokers coming up with a song when they can't sing for shit. Surprisingly enough, this has 37 million views and 3.4 million likes. I kind of understand the views because it's a TikTok, it's a first song, but why so many likes? I haven't heard the song yet, but it's a TikToker. Is it that good? I think I've seen that guy before. Okay. Is that Mia Khalifa? Did, you, did I just see Mia? That's Mia! I don't know who those two are. Okay, this is looking kind of expensive. Okay. Oh, this is looking expensive. What is going on? Why does this look so expensive? For a TikToker? This is looking a little out of budget. Maybe I'm just used to Dixie and Addison having like terrible budget, terrible songs. Maybe Bella is the one that breaks the meme of TikTokers having bad songs. Oh my god. I'm literally crying right now. Can you even see my eyes? I'm tearing up. I'm not even kidding right now. This is a decent song. I, I can't believe I just said that. This is actually a decent song. Like, not just a decent song, but like a good, good song. Bella. Oh my god! This song! It's a bop! Holy shit! This is good. It's kind of giving me Billy Eyelash vibes. You know, the dark scene, the epic Bella porch. I am digging this. Damn, Bella. No wonder why I got so many views. This shit is a bop. I'm, 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 I'm sorry. I'm just so speechless right now. This song is good. Yo. The budget. Holy sh- Oh my god. Badass Bella Porch. So what I'm getting, this is kind of like a factory where they build custom people. And Bella was like, fuck that. She's going rogue. So she's setting this whole thing on fire? Damn. Look at this. This is so well done. She looks badass. You gotta admit, you hate the song, you hate Bella, but she looks badass. Say whatever you want, you cannot deny the fact that she looks badass here. Oh my god. Oh look at this, Mia Khalifa! How the fuck did she get Mia Khalifa to be on this shit? Mia Khalifa. How? 
She is the first TikToker who makes a cool song to listen to. I'm gonna be listening to this shit for the next couple of days. I, I can't believe I just said that. From now on, we stand Bella Porch. I don't give a shit what they say about Bella. You got beef with Bella? You got beef with me. Yeah, it's very catchy. Bretman? She got Bretman? And Mia Khalifa, maybe a bunch of other YouTubers that I know. Was that Larry? That's Larry. How many famous people did she get in this fucking music video? Wow, look at this. Honestly, I know this is scary to say, but I'm gonna give this a 10 out of 10. I could not think of one reason to lower my rating. This was not even a 9 out of 10. This was a 10 out of 10. You know what's so interesting? The day that she posted this video, Olivia Rodrigo posted a song as well. And including Dixie D'Amelio. These three girls decided to post a song same day. And Olivia is trending. Bella is trending. But Dixie isn't. <laughs> Poor Dixie. So Dixie posted the fuckboy song. I reviewed it like a month ago or some shit. And the whole song is fuckboy this, fuckboy that. This is the whole song. You think I'm exact? Do you actually think I'm exaggerating? Let me just show you the lyrics real quick. I'm so fucked up. You're just a fuckboy. You're just a fuckboy. You're just a fuckboy. You're just another fucking fuckboy. Fuckboy. You're just a fuckboy. You're just a fuckboy. What I try to fuck with you? I'm just. I'm just fucking hurt. I'm so fucking fucked. You're a fuckboy. You're a fuckboy. You're just a motherfucking fuckboy. You're just another fucking fuckboy. Fucking fuckboy. Fucking fuckboy. You're just a motherfucking fuckboy. You think I was exaggerating? No. That's ninety percent of the song. I feel like this song was inspired by Dixie learning the F word. She was like, I'm gonna make a whole song saying fucking fuck you, fucking motherfucking fuck. When you turn 19 and realize you can finally say the word fuck, so you start saying it as many times as you can. Why is that so true though? Damn, I really love listening to this where the volume is off. I do feel bad for Dixie, but at the same time, when the whole song is fuck, 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 motherfucking fucking fuck boy. Wait, I just thought of it. What are they gonna do if they play the song on the radio? And obviously they don't swear on radio. So is the song gonna sound like this? You're so You're just a boy. You're just another Boy, you're just a boy. You're just a boy. You're just a boy. And I'm so boo. So stop me. You're just another mother boy. So stop me. I'm just so done with your. The whole song is gonna be bleeped. Thank you for joining us on Radio 1 FM. Coming up, Dixie D'Amelio bleep. So there's this clip going around of Bella singing without autotune because people were saying that Bella can't sing. Let's hear it. Honestly, first time hearing this shit, can she actually sing? Oh my God. Imagine if we have another Dixie D'Amelio here. I just thought of it. I have never heard Dixie. Sing without auto tune. Okay, Bella. Okay. Oh my. Holy shit. She has a really good voice. Like a really good voice. It's so funny learning that she can sing, but if she sings like this on TikTok, she won't even get a hundred thousand views. But when she does the lip sync and whatever she does on TikTok, she gets like 10 million views. This is so sad. She has talent. I got myself curious. Don't even judge me for this. 
Dixie D'Amelio, no auto tune. She said, What you know about love? I got what you need. It's okay. I'm not gonna be too harsh on her because her song came out and it flopped. And she's probably stressed right now, so I don't want to be too harsh on Dixie. But get ready when Dixie learns the word bitch. It's gonna be a whole song. Sometimes I don't wanna be a bitch. Fuck them bitches. And then the remix is gonna be fuck and bitch at the same time. Anyways, what do you guys think of Bella Porch's new song? If you have a problem with Bella Porch, you're gonna have to beef with me because this song is a bop. Hit like, subscribe, and the bell icon. And also, if you want to support Dixie D'Amelio on her new single, Fuck and Bitch, it's gonna be a remix, crazy remix, but she has to hit 22 years old first for her to say the B word. So let's keep it on the low, guys. Let's not say the B word around her. I upload frequently because I have no life.